Okay, so today we're heading out of Bangkok to Pattaya to John Tien Beach. We're going to show you how cheap the transport is, the trains, the minibus and the accommodation, the whole package. We're going to break it down for you in this video. So stay tuned and check it out. Okay, so we're at the hotel now. We're gonna to go to the train station and jump on the train to get to Pattaya. So I've got my ticket to Egamai station, then we're gonna jump on a bus there. Okay guys, so let's give you a little room tour. We've got a nice fully furnished kitchen, smart TV, a little sofa and a light, nice big double bed, balcony, bathroom. That's what we like. So that bus ride down here cost 160 baht, which works out to about four pounds. It took about two hours to get here. That's insanely cheap when you think about petrol prices, what it costs to get a taxi two hours back home. You know, it could be like 150 pound. It's like 20 times cheaper to travel, like on land, obviously, which is just crazy. Yeah, so when you're in Thailand, in Bangkok, just make your way to Egamai or Ekamai, Ekamai station. And then from there, you get a bus down to Pattaya. 160 baht, job done. You'll be with other travelers in the bus, but it's all part of the fun and you get to see all the sights on the way. It's pretty cool. If I was to get a taxi, it would have cost a thousand baht. So you're looking about 25 quid, which isn't too bad, but why not just do it on the cheap travel and see a lot of stuff on the way. Now, I'm sure some of you have heard of Pattaya before. You know what it's all about. I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard people saying, don't come here. You won't like it. Don't bother. I've heard other people say, come here. You'll have a great time. There's loads to do. You won't want to leave. So basically, I've come here. I'm going to make my own decision. I'm going to see what I think of the place for myself and not just what other people tell me. So for all of you that don't know, Pattaya is a little beach down just to the east of Bangkok, about two hours away. It's got more bars per square mile than anywhere in the world, so yeah, should be fun. It's currently 30 degrees here in Pattaya, 12 o'clock midday, and it's getting hotter. over 25 ingredients in and it's got those little green peppercorns in and in the UK if you order anything with green peppercorns it costs a bomb but they chuck them in like it's no tomorrow over here cost 160 baht well worth the money I'll be going back there tomorrow to try some of the other food some people are a bit dubious about trying different Thai food I've never had a bad experience with it you've just got to know how to find the right Thai food and there's a few ways you can do that number one look for a Thai restaurant where there's a lot of Thai people already eating there that's always a good sign it's good food number two look for a restaurant that's got a wide variety of dishes on the menu this means that the chef is competent and he knows what he's doing in the kitchen if it's only got one or two or three dishes on the menu that shows that he doesn't really know how to cook a lot. Always look for a restaurant that's got plenty of options on the menu. And number three, what I like to do sometimes is just go on Google, go on YouTube, YouTube, best street food Bangkok, best street food Pattaya. Just do that and, you know, read the reviews, have a look for yourself because if you're going to go to any of these places right on the beachfront here, it's just going to be like overpriced stuff. You know, half the time it's not even that great. So always best to do your research when having a look for good food.
So yeah, I have heard mixed reviews about the tyre, but so far, so good. And um, £4 to get here from Bangkok to a beach. I wasn't going to say no. Can't come to Thailand without having 7-Eleven cheese and ham toasted. About 25 bar, so yeah, what's that? I think that's about 60p or something. Like, it's probably the most expensive thing you're going to buy out here, but it is delicious. Okay, so we spoke about the travel, the transport, how cheap the bus ride and the train is down here. We've been down to the town. I've showed you how cheap the food can be, how to find all the best food around. Now, I'm going to talk about this Airbnb, how much I paid and how cheap it is, and how you can find good deals out here in Pattaya too. But first, let's go check out this Golden Buddha at the top of this mountain. Okay guys, so let's talk about this Airbnb now. I paid $300 a month to stay here, but I didn't actually pay that because I'm only staying here for 13 days. That works out to about $10 a day, about £8.87, which is crazy cheap when you think about it. And you can do this by doing a bit of negotiating with the hosts. If you message the hosts on Airbnb and Goda, try and work with them, work the price down, you will find a better deal. If you're gonna go on booking.com for instance, and just pick the first one you see, you're gonna be paying $30 a night but that's fine if you want to do that but if you do want these cheap stays you've got to put the work in and you've got to do some negotiating and put the time and effort in when speaking to the hosts so it's all down to you how much time and effort you want to put in to try and get in a cheap deal on your accommodation I'm only here for 13 days but I still pay the same rate as if I was here for 30 which is a great deal for me so yeah, thanks for sticking to the end of this video, guys. I hope it's been insightful for you. We've showed you how to get cheap transport, cheap accommodation, cheap food, all down here in John Tien Pattaya. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and drop a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.